Hello, my name is Adam Heiberg. I am an Applications Engineer at Maxim. The radio has been one of the main focal points of the Automobile Center console for many decades, and even in this era of MP3 players and internet streaming, broadcast radio is still a very important feature of automotive infotainment. Many people still listen to the radio, and as a result, the quality of the radio that they receive really impacts their perception of the quality of their car. As a result, automobile manufacturers are very keen on maintaining the highest quality radio performance. In addition, the automobile is a very challenging environment for good radio performance. These features have combined to motivate Maxim to create a new radio architecture, which we call remote tuner. In a traditional radio, most of the complexity is concentrated in the head unit in the center console. In this case, the antennas may be located anywhere around the car. Oftentimes, they're in the rear window, as is shown in the figure. In this case, multiple antennas are used, and each antenna requires its own cable, which is routed from the rear of the car to the front. In addition, each remote antenna has an LNA, which is required to maintain good performance. In the remote tuner architecture, the tuners are removed from the head unit and they are placed in close proximity to the antennas. This has a number of benefits, one of which is it enables for the removal of the remote LNA because the tuner fulfills that function. Secondly, cabling is simplified because now only a single cable is required to route the outputs of all of the antennas to the head unit. In addition, there are some other benefits. The system is now more modular, and so a single head unit design and remote radio module designs could be used across multiple platforms supporting different numbers of radio tuners and antennas. Finally, the remote tuner architecture has the benefit of simplifying the head unit and reducing power consumption. The remote tuner is enabled by three key Maxim automotive technologies. The radio tuner, of course, as well as GMSL, serial link, and power management. The first part of the system is the head unit, which is shown here, which in the demo system is based on a Renesas H3 microprocessor and a Maxim GMSLD serializer, which is used as the interface between the head unit and tuners. All radio processing is done in the H3 processor using Maxim developed software defined radio software. So this is a true software defined radio solution. The second key part of the system is the remote tuners themselves, of which there are two, as was shown previously. The first, here, is the simplest of the two, and it would be used in systems requiring just a single remote tuner, uh, such as systems with one antenna. In both cases, a pair of tuners are used. This is the MAX 2175 hybrid analog digital radio tuner. And in addition, this tuner module also has a single GMSL serializer, which is used to transport data to the head unit. In the example system we have here, there's also a second tuner module, which is slightly larger and more complex. It has the same tuners and serializer, but it also adds a deserializer. And the purpose of that is to enable a single cable to run from the rear of the car to the head unit. And so the deserializer on this module receives the output from the first module over here, and then it combines it with the output from these tuners. All of the data is then routed directly to the head unit over a single cable. To complete the demo system, we of course have a pair of antennas. These are connected directly to the tuner module, so there's no interconnect between the antenna and tuner, which makes it very robust and immune to noise pickup. And all of our data is transferred between the tuners and the head unit digitally over this GMSL serial link cable. So now I'm going to move into a demonstration of the functionality. The system is controlled using a simple terminal program running on a computer. So I'm going to configure tuner 1. So I select tuner 1. And then I can set the frequency to whatever I desire, 103.3 megahertz in this case. Now I do the same thing for the second tuner, so I select tuner 2, and I configure it for 104.7 MHz. So now I can turn up the volume.
and we can hear some nice jazz music playing. Now I'm going to change to tuner one. The size of a garden hose, it's the main vessel that supplies blood to the body. And but we can hear like a nice a talk hose, radio it broadcast. Can weaken, bulge, and burst. Because most patients with abdominal aortic cannula. This concludes the discussion of the Maxim remote radio demonstration system. For further information regarding the demo, the remote tuner architecture, or any of the technologies discussed, please contact your Maxim account representative. Thank you.